pleasant morning to members of the media and to the listening and viewing public. And welcome to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Weekly Media Brief. My name is Michael Jackman, Acting Assistant Superintendent Corporate Communications and Public Information Officer for the TTPS. Today my topic will be vigilantism. Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has found it necessary to caution members of the public against acts of vigilantism. Vigilantism may be described as law enforcement undertaken without legal authority by a group of persons seeking to avenge a crime or an action which is perceived as a crime. This type of conduct has the potential to cause harm, serious injury, or even loss of life and may result in criminal charges being brought against individuals who participate in such unlawful acts. Crime and the fear of crime in no way justifies the use of unlawful violence against a person suspected of having committed or being in the act of committing an offense. The use of force against such an individual must be controlled and restrained to the degree that it is considered reasonable in detaining the suspect. The type of force used in the circumstances must be one which serves to subdue and detain the suspected person and not the type aimed at inflicting injury to the individual. In other words, the use of force in arresting the person suspected of criminal conduct must be reasonable and consistent with the degree of resistance exhibited by the suspect. Once successful in detaining such an individual, he or she must be handed over immediately to the police who would be responsible for conducting an investigation. Let's now look at the civilian powers of arrest. The Criminal Law Act, Chapter 1004, Section 3, Subsections 2 and 3, provide what is referred to as civilian powers of arrest. In the case of capital offenses or offenses for which a term of five years imprisonment may be imposed on an accused who is found guilty before a court of law. This provision reads as follows. Subsection two, any person may arrest without warrant anyone who is or whom he with a reasonable cause suspects to be in the act of committing an arrestable offense. Subsection three, where an arrestable offense has been committed, any person may arrest without warrant anyone who is or whom he with reasonable cause suspects to be guilty of the offense. The above gives the civilian a power to arrest a suspected person in the following circumstances. The first circumstance is one in which the offender is caught committing a serious offense. And the second one is one in which the offense has already been committed and there is reasonable grounds or evidence which points to the person suspected. Arrestable offenses include offenses such as rape, robbery, burglary, breakings, and serious reports of wounding. Persons who carry out their civic duty in detaining persons suspected of serious criminal behaviors are urged 
to cooperate with the police officials appointed to conduct investigations into such cases. Whilst the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service is appreciative of all the support extended by members of the public that serve to assist in the detection and prevention of crime, it must be understood that criminal investigation and prosecution requires persons to be patient with the process that same entails. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service wishes to remind individuals that the prevention of crime, the detection of crime, and preservation of the peace remains the duty and responsibility of the service. Patriotic individuals are reminded to be cautious when choosing to exercise powers of arrest in circumstances that may expose them to the risk of becoming victims themselves. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service continues to work with you, the members of the public, towards our vision of making every place in Trinidad and Tobago safe. I thank you.